everyone. This is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio, and I want to take you on a tour of Melanie B's Creative Studio. So a lot of you know, I've been working on this for three or four months. 90% of my furniture was at my mother's, so I had to enlist some of my family to go down there and help me bring it all back down from her third level. <laughs> so it took me forever, but what you're looking at is a hot mess right now. Um, this is what my French door looks like going into my art studio. So my intention is to get a banner to put on this side that says Melanie B's Creative Studio recording in progress or something like that, or just a really pretty you know, banner. Um, so that will act like a shade or a curtain into my studio. So I'm gonna show you what is on the back of this door. This was my genius idea until I realized I had so many canvases and diamond paintings that were not in a box still that this is so heavy. Um, I'm concerned it's gonna pull this hook out of my wooden door. So what this is, is it is a $10.96 shoe holder from Amazon. And yes, I will link you to that in the description. I just wanted to show you how much this holds and so I'm just gonna scroll down for here just for a minute. All right, so this is a really good idea. If you have not a lot of canvases or if you have diamond paintings and you need to store them in a, an efficient but inexpensive way, this has been so handy. So I had purchased this little eye hook or this little hook up here at the top that's holding everything, but the hanger is rotatable. That little silver hanger up there will rotate. So it can be hung in your closet or it can be hung on a hook like this. But either way, right now it looks super messy. It's gonna be coming down. It weighed a minimum of 50 pounds. So I'm going to come up with another solution, but I love this idea and this solution for those of you who do not have 100 canvases. Okay, so let's go in and take a little look. Now, let's keep in mind, this is not a completed project. This is still something I am working on every day. Now, to my left, I have designed a stamping, scrapbooking, and paper crafting station, as you can see on my little sign. Everything here is related to stamps, scrapbooks, and paper crafting. These wire mesh baskets are baskets that I had when I first built my home in 1997, and they were used in my children's closets. But after a little while, I realized they weren't really utilizing them, so I pulled them out and put them into my studio. This cube shelf right here was one that I used in a different room, and I didn't have bins for it. So since then, I have added bins. Now, I will be doing station videos. So what I'm going to do is an exclusive series on Patreon only for the VIP members and they will get to see how I have broken down each station and what is in these containers and how I've organized everything. So you guys make sure you join me on Patreon. I will still be on YouTube. I don't want anybody thinking I'm bailing. I just needed to do something to maybe bring in a little income that I'm not turning around and using to buy more products. So over here, this is my utility room, so that's my laundry room in there. And what I decided to do is we had taken the door off, moving things in and out. And the door, it was in such a, really a, I don't know, not a good place. And, um, and so instead of putting the door back, I hung a curtain rod like I would use in my shower. And just a fairly inexpensive, but pretty, waffle weave shower curtain, and that blocks my view of the utility room, and I don't have to see that mess when I walk in here. If there's a laundry basket sitting there with dirty clothes, to me it looks messy, so I don't wanna see it. So I also did that for y'all's benefit so that you didn't have to see it either. <laughs> All right, so let's go and look at the other features in this studio. All right, to the right here is my die cutting station. Now, I do not have anything hung on my walls yet, so that's to come. All of this down here um, has been organized. This, even though it looks a little messy right now, it's, it's been organized, and these are my diamond paintings. 
These are the ones that come in boxes and that have the drawstring bags. So the ones that you saw on the back of my door originally were the ones from like Amazon and those places that come in a rolled container. And so that is why they're in the back of that shoe holder. So you can see some of these bins I haven't even organized yet, but I wanted to just go ahead and do this video so you guys don't have to wait any longer. This is my planning station where I have my planner. This is where I can pull a chair up or my stool and I can work on my plans for the week and schedule myself, you know, for all the things that I need to take care of. Under here, in this, this wire container, you can see everything's been labeled. This is my diamond painting stuff. That's all the drills on works in progress. And the top, we're gonna go through that on another video when I get to the specific stations video. And I will show you more in depth of what is in that and how it organized. This wire mesh set over here on the left has not been organized at all. So I wasn't really bringing anything in here that I wasn't gonna use. All of those things are things I'm gonna use. I just need to reorganize it, okay. So up here on this shelf, it continues. All of these little drawer systems I had and pretty much everything you're looking at, I've had for 20 years. So nothing is really new. I just totally revamped how I used it. And so that is what you're seeing. All right, so over here is a display because I used to have a store several stores where I sold online and I have several displays that I had gotten while I was working as a retail business. So this is where I package and hang all the paint my number kits that come in and I can see them. These are the ones that are not a work in progress and you can see it's fairly full, but that is how I am storing my packets for those canvases that you saw on the back of the door. All right, bathroom. <laughs> Since you haven't seen my studio to begin with, you don't know that this is a new paint. We have repainted this room. We totally gutted this room. It had nothing in it. And my husband who works at Lowe's is a paint department manager and has been a painter for years, repainted one weekend. All right, so this is my bookshelf of scrapbook papers, Project Life Kits, scrapbook papers, anything you can imagine is right in here on this little shelf. Those are little albums up there. This is my little chalk couture sign that I made when in doubt I had glitter because you know, hello. And those cameras are ones that I've handmade. So those are just little extra decor that I've used. All right, I'm skipping my, works, my work desk because I am gonna go in depth on that once I get to it. So I'm gonna kind of jump over here to this left corner. Boop, 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 boop. You can see nothing's on the wall yet. All right, this is my creation station. So the desk that I'm about to talk about is what I call my creation station. That's where I can do diamond paintings, paint by numbers, whatever craft I'm working on. And that is where I'll be sitting to do that creations, those creations. Now down here, you can see cube storage again. And these are the modular cube storage. They don't have them on Amazon anymore, just like this. It actually has six pieces, but, um, I'm gonna have to find something comparable for you guys. But I want to show you, you can see in that far right bin, that is my Arteza sets. So I have a 60 piece acrylic paint and a 60 piece gouache paint. And we're gonna talk about gouache one day. In the corner over here, which is not looking really pretty, but those are my sketchboards and they both have um, paintings taped down to them and those are works in progress, but they're also for technique classes and videos online. So this will probably get changed a little bit and move to my hanging system. But these bags, I didn't have the hanging envelopes yet, so I had already done this, and then I found my display in the hanging bag, so I moved everything. But these are the other paint kits that I have to go with those canvases on the door. Now, I want you to look. Every one of them has a swatch guide in it. So that tells me before I go to this packet how my paints looked and whether I'm willing to work on that painting because it will depend on how, you know, what the quality is of the paints. Now this is that little acrylic pen holder, pen, you know, marker holder that I told you about that my daughter went through and sorted all of those paint brushes in. And I have redone that. Now it kind of drives me nuts that this looks messy, but what I've done is I've separated the different types 
of brushes. So these are my Artist Loft, these are my Princeton's, these are the chisel, these are the, you know what I'm saying? So they're all in here organized, these are the disposable. These are actually my watercolor brushes that are a whole different animal. So I haven't shown you all of those stations yet because we're gonna do that on other videos. All right, so down here, you see my meal prep trays. The meal prep trays have all of my works in progress in them. So if you look back in here, you can see there are a lot of them in there, and that is my meal prep. Those are the ones that I have working in progress. And this drawer, which I'm not gonna open, has products that I am reviewing, that I'll be doing videos on. So yeah, that's kind of a little surprise. All those things that are coming up that I have not really told you guys about, they're in that drawer. And um, so let's go here. This was originally gonna be a station for my planning. I, I redesigned everything the other day. Um, so right now, what I have in here, you can see my 31 bag from probably five or six years ago. I finally pulled it out and used it. It was brand new and I had bought it and never used it. Can you imagine? <laughs> Anywho, um, on this side, you can see my blank canvases, my value canvases that I use to stretch my paintings on. In this container, this tote, these are my dry mounted canvases that are works in progress or have never been touched, but I had dry mounted them back when I worked at the frame shop. So that's what's in this tote. Over here, there are some kits that I was sent for review. So that is what that is. Over here, we have the Chalk Couture station, which I don't have a sign for yet. We'll go in depth on that another day. So you guys, I actually built every piece of furniture in here. All these cube storage pieces, modular pieces, and so I'm very proud of my studio. It's been like this for years, but I totally redesigned how I laid it out. So that is what you're seeing. Now this section here originally was going to be my paint by number prep station, my chalk couture station, you know, everything, my diamond paintings, um, thing, whatever I needed for the space, but now it has become my recording station. So I can clamp my mount over on this side or this side, and I can do my videos here and I don't have to worry about shaking because I noticed my fabulous new desk, my workspace that I had bought for that purpose is shaky because it doesn't shake when I'm using it. Like I don't notice any shaking while I'm painting, but the camera mount shakes because it's clipped to the surface. So let's talk about what I have here. So this is the, the main aspect of why I redesigned my studio to begin with. I wanted a place to sit and paint my number and diamond paint. So let's ignore the 20 year old shade that is over my windows because it is actually dry rotted. It's been there so long and I can't afford to replace it yet. So that's a, something in the future. It's not really that big a deal. It's just that certain times of the day, the sun comes through this window so bright that you can't really work here with the shade up. So I use this natural light but I only use it when it's not, you know, just totally coming through really harsh. I purchased the chair with the donations that I received. I purchased these two light sources here. All these items are gonna be linked in the description, so it might take me a little while to get all that updated, but it will happen. So let's talk about what I have in this desk and how I have this set up. Over here, I've got my diluted flow aid, my flow aid with a dropper. I've got some extender. I have my artist loft brushes stuck down in the little holes that are here. So this is a cup holder, but I have noticed if I use it, it tilts forward sometimes. So it scares me a little bit. I don't use that a lot. Over here, I have an old creative memories tool. So it's a cup holder and a little trash can. So I have a little trash can at my disposal for any little papers you know, that I need to put in that trash can. You can see I've dumped some paintbrushes in there. Um, I probably should have emptied that, but I didn't want to waste the bags. I don't even know if they sell that anymore. So, you know, I'm using one, I'm using it now because I usually keep my cup of brushes that I used to use most in this cup holder. All right, so you see my beautiful Norgeson, it's up here. She's coming to a point where I can finally do some more blending videos for you guys. Now, let's talk about what this is. This is a silicone mat that I've placed over my beautiful desk surface. You can see I've had this mat a long time and it collects dust like nobody's business. So the last thing I really needed was something else to dust, but 
it keeps my surface perfect underneath. It is, you know, it's kind of messy from being used for like 20 years, but it is a great way to protect your surface. So I just tucked it up under here and it's a little long and I can trim this off whenever I need to, if I decide to do that. It's just a nice protective layer to my desk. Over here, it has a slide out um, shelf or like a little section. And I've put another little small silicone mat that I already had on this as well. So like I have, if I put paints down and there's something on the edge or whatever, it doesn't ruin this desk and I can wipe it right off. This is my Oomps speaker that I use for Bluetooth. Um, I bought it for my wedding and I use this when I paint for myself. Y'all don't wanna hear me singing because I, when I record, I'm sitting here singing to whatever's on that dang Bluetooth speaker and I'll go back and edit and go, God am I, quit singing in front of people. All right, so anyway, y'all see my little water cups with the paint puck inside. I keep these close and they usually sit when I'm working up on this desk. Now I do have this desk tilted a lot right now, but you can see they don't slide with the silicone mat and they also um, wouldn't slide if the mat wasn't down because they are that, that type of material that doesn't you know really slide. So it's really nice. These little cups were perfect for in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do right quick, and it's gonna be hard for me to record and to show this, but I'm gonna put this desk surface down. Let me move these things. So I'm just gonna pull this entire section out so I don't have to take all the individual things out. And then when you want to tilt or untilt your desk, you just pull it up and it clicks. And so you can actually use it very tilted, okay? Let me see if I can get some light here, okay. Now, when you wanna flatten it, you pull it all the way up and then drop it back down. So it can be flat. So the where I like to use it is either at this first level or this second level, usually at the second level. Now, when you saw it, I had it on the third level, so it's pretty tilted, but I can work at whatever angle works best for me, and you can do that as well. All right, so let's talk about what's in my drawers, and then we will be done. I love the fact that this desk had these drawers. This is one of the reasons that I got it. In addition to that, I also have my um, items down here that I use for like extras, my spray, my Krylon spray sealer, you know, my floating medium, my gesso is usually down here, my flow aid, whatever, okay? So that's what that is. I like that little section down there too. But this drawer I've organized and it has my pharmacy wipes, my foam trays that I've gotten in kits, my mini paint pots and my extra paint puck. And then of course I've got my technological stuff, my label, my labels are going my label maker that I'm actually going to do a video on. And I also have the little mixing dishes. So that's what's in this drawer. In this drawer, I have my printed swatch guides in the back. I have my uh, already cut down to size swatch guides, the envelopes with the hanging hook on them, and container with my Sharpie, my scissors, clips to clip my painting up on this desk if I need to, and other little various uh, sundries. <laughs> so let me talk about this chair for just a second because I know I'm gonna have people ask. Um, what it does is it is actually the right height for working at this level. Now, my legs are pretty tight up under here, but I needed that height. It's got dust on it too. I love that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but it is adjustable and it does have a place to rest your feet down here and it's very cushioned, but I'm a stander when I work, <laughs> but when I'm doing long videos, I move this over to this station and I can push the handle Sorry, I'm moving around so much, you guys. The handle right here allows this to be raised, and I'm gonna raise it. And you see how high it goes? It does not need to be this high for this workspace, but it is, that's how high it goes. So if you guys have a higher bar or something you need to work at, this is perfect for that. You see how high it went? And it was not expensive. I really did 
research forever to find the right tools and equipment, furniture, everything that would work and be comfortable for you know long periods of time. So that's what this is. I will be back to go through these stations in depth another day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tour. And I tell you what, it has been a labor of love. Um, I still have boxes and boxes of stuff in my den that I need to go through, which terrifies me because I'm like, uh, where am I gonna put it? But I actually have two more of the wire baskets like these like this one, to go in one of these slots. So um, that gives me a lot more storage. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to join me on Patreon if you, if you can. My VIP members get exclusive videos and I don't want you to miss a thing. Thank you as always for watching. See you soon.